So what is a value network? Well, the way I like to think about it is it's just the natural way that we organize. When the river's flooding, people run down to the river bank and they assign each other roles and they say, well, you're going to be a, a, a shoveler and you're going to be a bag holder and you're going to be a traffic director and they get it done. They negotiate between them what they need to do. So to me, it's a very natural way of organizing. And from a business perspective, virtually any activity can be understood as a value network. If you define a value network as simply uh, any set of roles that uh, creates a specific kind of business or social outcome, then anything that we do together is really a value network. Now, why should we care about that? Well, one of the things that's happened in business in the last decade or so is we've gained, uh, made enormous progress with business process productivity but unfortunately, a lot of our human interactions have been sort of devalued or not given the same kind of consideration as business transactions. So we have this sort of disconnect uh, between the two worlds of human interactions on the one hand and business transactions on the other. So in the world of human interactions, uh, you have business performance, you have team building, you have leadership development, you have organization charts. Uh, and in this other world of transactions, you have applications, you have business process, but very much an engineering focus. And unfortunately, the two worlds don't really come together that effectively. And by modeling work as value networks, you actually put people at the heart and center of value creation. And your business processes naturally evolve out of people or how people are interacting together. So it's a very powerful and natural pros perspective uh, that we need to bring into the workplace.